This tutorial is for a peekaboo, or sometimes called a stenciling, glitter tumbler. I start off with a swirl base. You can start with any kind of base you would like, whatever you want to show through under your peekaboo part. With this cup, I am doing the stenciling technique, and what I've done is started with a base rainbow swirl, and then I have added on top of that decals of what I want to show through. So um, I have gone ahead and cut all the decals, and then placed them on the cup. And this cup, it has been, um, it has been no base coat, but it was done with the epoxy method in the swirl, like in my uh, swirl video. And then I have, once I got done with the glitter, I epoxied over that twice because I wanted to make sure it was completely smooth and the edges and everything were smooth. So I did do two coats of epoxy. And then I cut my decals. And then I have placed my decals on here, and the next step is to paint white over my decals. And then after that, I'm going to do an alcohol ink technique on top of that. And then once that is completely dry, then I will seal that, and then I will pull my stencils. So I wanted to show um, this step which is the stenciling. And then I will show my next step, which is once I get this uh, painted. Okay, so this is after I have spray painted it. So you can still see where the stencils are. And this is fresh, fresh paint. Um, it has not dried yet but you can see where the stencils are. And so when I do my epox or my um, alcohol ink on top of this, it will go onto all of this whole area once the paint is dry. And then I will pull the vinyl once that's dry underneath there and reveal my rainbow underneath. So that is called the stenciling technique. Okay, for my next step after painting, I used alcohol inks and I just made lines on this. In my next step, I'm going to spray some alcohol and then um, see how I like it and if I like the looks of it or if I need to change anything. But I just kind of kept the same um, rainbow pattern that I had on the glitter in the swirl. So I will show you the next step. I was not completely happy with the way that mine looked here and just the way that the alcohol inks worked. 
So I did add another step to mine and I actually brushed out each of the rows and then blended them to make it um, more just more look almost like a wood grain. But I really liked the way that this ended up looking. I didn't take a video of actually removing the vinyl, but I just used one of my silhouette tools and just kind of pry off um, a corner of the vinyl and just make sure you don't hit your um, actual alcohol ink part where the paint is because it will come off. So I just did um, pull them all off and then I spray sealed it. And I always use one of these to seal. It doesn't matter. I try to use one that is a clear gloss and has UV. And then the final step is to put your final coat of epoxy over everything. And that is it. On the nights when the dark lasts a little bit longer Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Drop me a comment if you have any questions.